Hi guys, uh, welcome back. I hope uh, yesterday's introduction to consciousness and awareness was helpful in helping you start to understand when things are being projected at you, whether they're actually coming from your head or from your heart. And you're starting to learn that we need to start feeling things in order for our hearts to start pumping. Um, again, um, I'm going to run through today, um, I know I covered the battle of the sexes, i.e. the balance of the sexes, and today I am going to, now that you kind of understand the masculine and feminine, it's time to now go a little bit further um, and take away the surface and start looking at things uh, like the right and the left hand side of the brain and how we can balance that muscle which is kind of one of the most important from the heart we go to the brain um, as history will tell you that um, anyone who's left-handed is uh, working for the devil or eating with the devil um, this is not the case what's actually happened is we have become so practical rather than you know more logical over creative and we are so unbalanced within our brains that we are struggling to find balance externally. So what we've done is we've started to give our power away to others because we are so busy looking for our other halves that we haven't stopped to realize that the other half is inside of you. But because of our social conditioning and the way we've been told that it's wrong, what's right and what's wrong each individual is different and it's up to each individual to start looking at themselves and how we can balance ourselves in order to bring balance externally and stop projecting ourselves onto others and start taking the power back within ourselves so it's very easy for me to say just go ahead and start balancing yourselves guys um, don't stand on one foot not what I'm talking about um, it's really about going internally and looking at yourself um, I will bring in a bit of a, a business uh, video in terms of how to look at yourself like a business and break yourself down um, look at you looking at your strengths and your weaknesses and your opportunities but first we need to look at just balancing the basics so then we can start to look at how we can really develop ourselves and evolve individually and then collectively so the best way I found to do this um, number one is I um, I've spent 10 years working on being ambidextrous so a lot of these techniques come from me and how I found I'm a bit lazy so I don't like to repeat myself I like to find a system that works and then work with it until I'm done um, and so what I found very helpful is I'm left-handed obviously too creative um, not needing a bit more practical uh, so I started to learn to write with my right hand now at first you feel like huh, I can't do this but it's like any muscle if you want to become strong you need to develop that muscle and it doesn't happen by not doing anything you actually have practice makes perfect so for you to become balanced internally sometimes you need to do external exercises and that will naturally help you balance on the inside so <laughs> maybe you want to do it all in one hit get a piece of paper um, down the middle and write masculine feminine what is the masculine inside of me and what is the feminine traits I have now I need you to be completely honest with yourself truth trust truth everyone can run away from you but you can't run away from yourself you're stuck with you so if you're not honest with yourself then you will never have you can't trust yourself and then you can never have true anything so I'm quite lucky 
I feel blessed to be a female that I can wear the you know the colors and the flair and I feel a bit sorry for guys because you're pigeonholed if you try anything different um, which I do believe is a little unfair however once we start to work within the masculine and feminine within ourselves we will no longer feel unbalanced and look for that other half out there but realize that other half is in here and it's how you start to draw that out of you and become more balanced as an individual um, now again going masculine feminine um, the next one I'd like to bring in is the hero and the villain yes we all have a hero and a villain with inside of us we all get upset we all get angry we all have the same fundamental feelings emotions all of that is how we then project those onto ourselves and onto others that makes the difference between a hero and a villain so you can be really mean and nasty and horrible to your family and friends thinking that's okay actually it's not we need to take care with our personal relationships in order to strengthen them because you're angry doesn't mean you can project onto others you can project your anger onto causes i.e it could be environmental it could be housing i'll give you a perfect example of a hero and a villain um it might be i've decided that you know community food growing is a massive thing so there's a piece of land i got my neighbors they want to get involved and let's get that happening but then it might be that the housing association wants to completely knock down my block and i'm going to be homeless um, my community will be completely destroyed and torn apart and I won't be able to afford to live where I live anymore. Ah, so the villain in me comes out and wants to organise protests and wants to organise online, you know, um, tweets and things like that. And it's fine, but just project the villain into the right channel rather than onto each other because it's not fair that we shut each other down. We are all unique. We are all individuals and we can't expect that because you're angry that that becomes my problem collectively we actually have the power to work together rather than against each other um, and then the last one I would like to bring forward to you is about looking at whether something is coming from your headspace or your heart space through flipping a coin I did have a coin here but um, me and money um so basically what i do is if i have a, a problem that i'm struggling with um and it could be whatever problem that is you is this coming from my heads or is this just a tail that i'm getting spun you know and you keep flipping am i using my heads am i using my tails heads tails and once you start to break down that a lot of these things aren't coming from logic they're coming from a tail that someone else has spun you and it's up to us to start taking back that control because of the tail you're hanging upside down and you're just like ah, rather than just going hey hold on a second rather than me you know I'm gonna use my heads rather than my tails on this one and I'm gonna progress forward so rather than giving somebody else that power and control I can take that power and control back within myself and then take that out into our wider communities um, and yeah so I'm going to leave you guys with those few exercises for today again going inside yourself with that bit of paper being completely honest with yourself looking at what's masculine looking at what's feminine within you looking at the hero inside of you and the villain inside of you and then how you can start redirecting that villain into a worthy course and take back the control rather than keep giving that control onto others and also looking at the right and the left hand side of our brains and how we can start to develop that muscle to become stronger individuals again we all look great from the outside, but a lot of us are actually mentally obese and it's time to start breaking down those 
misconceptions so we can start to unite rather than remain divided. So I hope this helps um, and tomorrow I'll be covering what spirituality actually is and how you can start to look at your individual roadmap and stop using someone else's keys to get into your house.